Hey guys, yeah, I'm just wearing my glasses because my eyes are so dry. I'm just ready to go to bed. But I love you guys, so I'm just gonna keep my word and host this November favorites video. with like face then eyes then lips and we'll get into it in that particular order so my first most number one favorite product is the make a forever pro finish in the shade golden brown and this is really nice i got this at sephora and it was part of my sephora haul that i was supposed to do but i, I just decided i'm not going to do it anymore because i only got three items from there so until i get like 10 or more items or you know something that i really am raving about i probably won't do haul videos like that okay so that's basically my shade and because of like this sponge and i use the sponge even though i'm supposed to use a powder brush i just find it easier to just use a sponge I'm close downward and the mirror is so dirty right now yeah I really like this and it has like a little I don't know what that is because I, I figured that was like my fingernail at one point but I haven't dug in it too like that but um, I haven't hit pan on this yet and it does do full coverage but I find that like after a couple of hours go by like I get like these lines inside of my face like my smile lines and um, that might just be from my concealer but the uh like the oil that comes out of my face during the day it's like it the the powder sinks in or it rubs off i'm not sure but then you can see my imperfections after a while and um like they, i don't know if you can see them this far away but like all of my scars that are on like the um, lower half of my face yeah it's kind of bad <laughs> but i do love this very much um I might try some other foundations and I'll let you guys know, but so far this is the best foundation I've ever used my whole entire life. Okay, so my next favorite is the Hard Candy Sheer in the Skin Perfecting Primer. And it's got like a silicone feel to it. It's a little dirty. Um, it comes out kind of creamy, but like I said, it's a silicone feel, so it's it, it's it, it it can fool you into thinking that it's kind of oily i personally don't think it's oily because it's, it's kind of like a powder type of texture when it goes into your face i don't know how to describe it but i do use this versus my bh cosmetics primer only because like my face doesn't itch or anything after a while I, you know i put this on versus the other primer i might do like i might get some other primers just to test them out because so far this is pretty good I like it. It um, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't have a smell to it, or it has like a vague powder smell, but I don't notice it after a while. It smells basically just like the uh, BH primer, but like I said, I like this one a lot better. Okay, next is my Elf a Makeup Mist and Set Spray, and um, it comes with Aloe Green Tea, Cucumber, and Vitamins A, C, and E. I always spray this like in a X shape first and try to let that dry and then do a T shape. Sometimes I do it the other way. Um, it just depends like uh, what comes to mind. But yeah, it, I, I don't know. It doesn't like spray anymore. It's more like it spritz over my face almost as spits. But yeah, that's basically what it does. It's like a little sprinkle, which makes me mad because I'm like, you know, no, I need you to go like diagonal and then uh, vertical and horizontal like no horizontal and vertical like what are you doing but um I don't know I, I might just get another one but I do like this one so far because it has like a refreshing kind of feel to it it's like water oh so I can't I can't move it and do that apparently but when I spray it on my arm it's just fine it has a slight scent to it but not really so if you're looking for like a setting spray that you're not gonna have to spend more than like maybe three dollars on this is the way to go I found it at Walmart and I was looking for um, some extra makeup essentials and uh, me and my mom were shopping and she showed me some of the elf products that she got so I just picked this up along with a um, brush shampoo but I'll do a review and all that on it later okay so next is my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Cafe. It is Cafe, right? Yeah, number 30. I like this 
better than any other concealer I've ever used. I, I have like my, like you know the concealers that you use for like perfecting and um, you know erasing your pimples and whatnot. I have like one in a hard candy palette and another from an eBay palette and I use both of those for like my eyebrows and um, you know, highlight my nose and uh, my under eyes and my lips and this dark whatever it is <laughs> under my chin um, or under my lip um, but uh, this one I find I like to just use it for highlighting my eyebrows the most and my t-zone it I should it, can I say because this, it smooths out easier it just it gives me better coverage than the other two when I use like a, a highlighter yeah I'm almost out of it really because I've had it for about a year now and I don't use like the other Maybelline Fit Me products that I've gotten but I do really enjoy this let's see what's next I have NYX concealer in a jar in yellow and I always use this to prime my eyes and sometimes I use it to prime under my eyes just depends on how lazy I am and reaching for my other palette that has like the uh, pink like the salmon pink thing that's used for your under eye circles yeah this is uh, it's, it's actually kind of it's a, it's slightly dirty in there it's got like brush hairs and whatnot in it yeah it's a little growth but it's easy to apply it's not chunky or you know like it doesn't dry out or anything I enjoy it but I could probably do better because I find that when I put this or any other because um, I don't have any primers for my eyelids I just normally use this but I find like my eyeshadow fades or like this part around like basically this whole section of my face gets really oily so the makeup um, that I do put on, it's like it, it fades out after a while or it just seems like it's not as bright as it should be when I take pictures. I don't know. I'll just try like an Urban Decay or something. Maybe I'll find something cheaper. I'm not sure. This isn't bad, but it's like one of my favorite things to use because, I mean, without it, my eyeshadow probably wouldn't be as pigmented as it shows up in some of my pictures. So this is pretty good. I do enjoy this, uh, or whatever is left of this eyeliner that I got from LA Color. I got it at a uh, beauty supply store and it's in brown, but as you can see, there's barely anything left of it. But I normally use this too for my eyebrows. And speaking of eyebrows, I really enjoy my Anastasia Beverly Hills Ebony Brow Powder Duo. Um, but it's not, while it is on my favorites list, I do like to put this over my uh, my eyebrows and then I just set, I just set the, uh, the wax material with this because as you can see, if I don't, which I, I didn't use it today, if I don't set it, this part of my eyebrow, I don't know why it's not growing back or maybe it will in like a few weeks. It just looks like it's faded out completely. My eyebrows are weird, but yeah, it'll start fading out really fast. And you know, I haven't been out doing anything. I've just been at my mom's house and I haven't been touching my face that much, but it just sort of rubbed right off. I don't understand. So those are the two things that I like to use for my eyebrows. And I also sometimes, if I don't want like a black liner on my eyes, then I just use this for like my top lid, which is what I did today. And I just did a black liner for my bottom lid. So that was cool. Now for the actual eye area, I enjoy the living hell out of this cream liner by e.l.f. And it's in black. It's very easy to apply. I just use a eyeliner brush to apply it for the most part. I have no problems with this. It's lovable in my opinion. And the only thing I, well, yeah, the only thing I don't really like about this is that after a couple of hours go by, while it, you know, when I'm enjoying it after I apply it and I leave the house to like go to school or something, I find that like if I do like a, a cat eye or something like that or, you know, a winged tip, it, it fades or it looks like I put on a brown liner instead of a black one. So probably not the best liner for long wear, but I do like it. I'll just see if I can find something that does last a little bit longer, but I like that so far. You get what you pay for, right? Also, the last thing for the eyes is my Maybelline Lash Stiletto. And I keep saying I'll do a review on it. And the reason I have not is because while I do like this mascara, it is a pain in the ass to get off so I'm not gonna rave and say that oh this is the best mascara I've ever used even though it is I do not like the way that I have to remove this because there is no simple way of doing it but I heard that there are some makeup removers that help 
with the removal, but I don't have them. I can't afford them as of right now. So if you're somebody who has sensitive eyes, I definitely wouldn't recommend this because I find that my contacts, when I wear them and for like not even that long, maybe like three to four, maybe five hours at most, if I wear this, my eyes will dry out a lot faster than without it. And that's not something that I find that I can deal with because um, I'm always picking at my eye to like, I don't know, it, it just feels like the right thing to do, right? And yeah, it, and then my makeup gets into my eye, which dries my eye out even more. My contact might get contaminated. All I really want to say is that um, if you find a, well, this says it does say waterproof, but um, the only problem I have with it is that when I try to remove it with water and um, like a, a, a facial cleanser or um, if I use my makeup wipe, it's like, it's almost as if it takes two straight days of showering. Not like, not that I'm sitting in the shower for two hours. Um, I take one shower and I think I've gotten it all off. And then the next day I go and take another shower and you know, I'm washing my face and there's even more of it still stuck in my eyelashes. So while again, it does extend your lashes, it makes them voluminous and really amazing. And I am, be, you know, I'm lucky to be born with uh, curled, slightly long lashes. I love what it can do for me. I just do not like how it is as far as the long wear process and the removal process. It's probably not the best mascara I would ever recommend so when I do find some more mascaras to review and compare I'll let you guys know but still one of my favorites I just <laughs> well you know the deal okay so that's all for the eyes now we have two products for the lips so as you guys know I went and got my ipsy bag and what I got out of it was an M Michelle Phan sheer lipstick and I got it and I'm taken already <laughs> It goes on really sheer like it says, but it has like a little bit of pigmentation. So I thought that this was going to be like a cranberry or brownish red kind of color, which is what it looks like, right? But it actually goes on like a, how to describe it? It's like a, it's a very pretty red, but when it goes on my lips, it looks not pink. I don't know how to describe the color, but I do adore the packaging. It's very hydrating. So sometimes I might not even need to put on a lip balm, even though I'm a victim of very badly chapped lips sometimes. Um, especially since it's getting cooler down here. Uh, I do love this very much and I can see myself getting more products from M. Michelle, especially the sheer lipsticks. I have no problems with this at all. It's, should I say it's long wear? I haven't seen how long it lasts on my lips really because I'll put it on, go out the door and I forgot that I'm even wearing it and that's a plus for me when it comes to lipsticks because I hate when I go out and it's windy and you now my hair will stick to my mouth or something or if I'm drinking something or if I'm, I don't know, just going about the day and then there's like, you know, it might get on my teeth or it might just feather out and get somewhere else on the other side of me. Or, you know, it might get on my clothes. I haven't had that problem with this. So I'll try to do like a stain power review on it. But so far so good. And um, that's the pigmentation on it. I did wear this earlier today. I don't know how long it lasted again, but yeah, it, it doesn't chap my lips or anything. So I, it doesn't feel drying or anything after a while. It's very nice. I love it and I would recommend it. And so I am a big fan of EOS lip balms and Summer Fruit is my favorite scented one. I can't say it's the best hydrating one for your lips because I feel that mint is. And I've only tried four of them, which is mint, melon, summer fruit, which I have right here, and strawberry. Strawberry was the one I did not like at all, so I gave it away to a friend because the smell of it really offended me. It, it smelled like medicine or like awful, really bad candy. I I don't know how to describe like what it was, but it had such an offensive odor that I just couldn't deal with it. <laughs> so I was like, no, you take it. I want nothing to do with that. So yeah, I cannot get over the smell of this. It's, it is my first ever EOS lip balm that I've ever tried. And it's a little dirty because I, um, my lips are a little dry. So I just put it on and I forgot that I was wearing this. So, um, it's very delicious smelling and I wish I could eat it, but I, I won't really try to do that. I did have one extra of these but I lost it when my trip to New York. You know I'll just try to collect some more because I saw lemon and pomegranate raspberry in Ulta when I got some supplies to do my haul for. You know I'll go back and I'll get them some other time. 
like I said, this is my favorite scented one so far, but mint is one I would really recommend if you wanted more hydration for your lips because it has a very nice cooling effect and it obviously it smells like spearmint gum and um, that doesn't bother me. It's just like after a while you get kind of bored of it, but yeah, so that's all the products that I have for my November favorites and uh, as I said, I would be <laughs> including some shout outs for my YouTube friends and these guys are very special to me not only that but they are also people that I will be probably including in future videos or we may be working on my web series or you might see them in some of my pictures I don't know they're just very special so first of all is Majestic Heart she is my sister and she also has a series that she wants to do except hers is an animation she is an artist and I really adore her art and I <laughs> oh my god I just love her to death she's so adorable and yeah she's my little sister so um she has a series coming out and it's a romantic comedy the only difference between mine is mine is live action and hers is hand drawn by herself but unfortunately a lot of the voice actors haven't been able to do their part mine as one of them because I was supposed to be the main character and there's so much going on the move and school and finding a job I just do not have the time so here's the deal let me just walk you through the basic steps so you can be prepared before you click on her video and you know ask her for an audition now number one you can play more than one character so if you're a person who is talented in making more than one voice good <laughs> props to you this might be your break you just need a microphone it doesn't have to be a super fantastic fancy one but one that you can only hear your voice and there is no background noise or you know a echoey robot sound because I don't have any microphones of my own yet so that's one downside that I can submit my uh, voice in for either but you have Emmy, the main character, who is headstrong and like me, basically. <laughs> she's so silly, but uh, she's in love with this guy named Neil. And Neil is the love interest and also the main character. And then there's also Leona, who, as I was told, is basically like, if you've watched That's So Raven, I forgot the redhead's name, but she's basically like her. I want to say her name is Rachel, but I know that's not her name. Ah! I, can't wa I was watching Best of Raven the other day. Why can't I remember? And then you also have Dustin, Tara, and God Godric. Godric. I'm sorry, sis. Please don't beat me. But yeah, I don't know about those three. I only know about the first three, Emmy, Neil, and Leona. So if you need to know more, she has included a script, and I'm pretty sure she has some descriptions of the characters, but I don't know everything, and I don't want to tell you guys anything wrong. I just promised that I would help getting her channel out and giving her some exposure, because she could really use the help, guys. Aside from maybe needing some extra, extra equipment, it is something that you can get into and network and put yourself out there so there's you got nothing to lose come on also I have Nick Monstrosity or Monstrosity Monstrosity how do you pronounce your name <laughs> uh, he's the guy who's done my intro and has helped me on numerous occasions of editing my videos and teaching me how to do so you know after I moved from Atlanta I can't necessarily harass him to drive up the street and you know help me out anymore because I live in Florida now but he's a really great guy and he if he's not too busy he may just help you guys with intros and he might just ask for like a little bit of compensation but it's worth it because I'm happy with my intro <laughs> okay then we have Lady Fox or Nika E in Hander. I hope I said that right. She's one of my closest female friends. Um, she is a gamer and a cosplayer and she's so gorgeous. But um, yeah, so she basically, you'll find her mostly on Twitch TV. I can't remember when her schedule is, but she does a lot of games and I know especially Dragon Quest is one of them and she got me into it. Oh, you bitch. So um, yeah, you guys check her channel out and give her some support, especially as a cosplayer. I believe her cosplay page is still named something in the news. What is it? 
She has a cosplay page. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but I will list that uh, when I get more information. And also, my friend, Gus the Musician, he inspires me a lot as a musician, but he's also a really good friend and very easy to talk to. He's such a sweetheart. He's inspired by Prince, and his style is just one of a kind. He's got like this rocker punk edginess, and it's so sexy. <laughs> Hopefully we can meet up in New York uh, when I go up in April and interview and talk about a lot of things. I'm looking forward to meeting him. Like I said, he's just so awesome here, but please check out his music, support him. Okay, and then last is my friend Foxerocious. Now you guys, if you go to any anime conventions in the Lower East Coast, like if you go on to any in Alabama, Tennessee, uh, Atlanta, I think maybe Mississippi, you might have seen him before. He is a very charismatic guy, very friendly and very funny. He's doing some web skits and whatnot, and hopefully in the future we'll be able to do some web series together, collaborate and share ideas, and we'll let you guys know what's going on. But yeah, support him, and he actually had a video with me as Black Rock Shooter walking past an anime week in Atlanta last year, and that's the first time I ever met him. But yeah, really cool guy, and um, let you guys in on the endeavors that we encounter in the future. I got one more channel, <laughs> and this one has a really weird name. So it's Zero Dumb, Zero Stupid, Zero Funny. I don't know what he was thinking when he made this. Ah! But he might make a new video channel sometime in the future. So for the first part, his name is Satch Lee. Ooh, I have like the biggest crush on this guy. But yeah, he's really hilarious and really sweet and down there and he's an amazing photographer. A lot of his videos are basically comedy sketch based so if you're looking for videos that are supposed to be like super you know serious and all that, yeah you might as well go somewhere else. Then yeah my videos aren't super serious either. So again his name is Ash Lee and his Facebook page for his photography is right on photography. Yeah check him out. But um yeah that's all the shout outs that I got and these videos will be up even though it is Black Friday and it's 2 a.m., I am so tired. So these might not be up until the afternoon. I'm so sorry, guys. I know I'm so far behind on uh, uploading when I say I will. I know I had a schedule for Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but since finals are coming up, it's going to be a little bit... Uh, <sighs> random when the videos are uploaded. But our winter break, lucky enough, is the 13th through January the 8th, I believe. So uh, throughout the whole Christmas break, you know, I'll be working on more videos and, and there should be another Ipsy glam bag coming up sometime in December. But uh, enough about that. I, I'm rambling and I need to go to bed. So I'll see you guys next week. Bye.